Hi, this is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. Today we're using the gel test software. We're connecting to a 2012 Cummins 8.3 liter QSC. So we're going to select the Cummins. We'll go to QSC. We'll hit that QSC 8.3. We'll connect there. So we're going to go through system scan this time. We'll hit scan. That warning is just going to tell you it's going to take a minute to pull up. So I'll wait on this to scan in just a few minutes. Okay, so it's going to pull up your ECM starboard. You'll see right there it shows you without present errors. So we'll go ahead and hit connect. Okay, so here you're going to have the system identification number. That's going to give you the information on that stuff. Serial number, ECU name. We'll go ahead and the diagnosis and show you those non-present errors. So your present errors are going to be in red, non-present will be in gray, and your others will be in yellow. So you can see here that we have two of them. We'll go to system data, we'll run through the ECU information. There's a bunch of it on here, we'll scroll down through it so you can see that. We'll close out, we'll go to parameters, show you those, display parameters and idle speed. There's your display parameters. Your measurements, here you have the SAEJ 1939 and then your specific, we'll run through specific real quick. Right here on the top right you'll see it says 52 of them. So here we have seven pages. So you'll see those. Uh, if you want to go to the next page, you just go down to that arrow and then click on that arrow and that'll take you to the next page. You'll be able to see all those. So we'll close out of that. Go back to the measurements. We'll click on the measurements. It's going to give you the same number on the top right hand side. You'll see 231. So that's the total measurements that we're showing on this engine. So we'll go ahead and hit select and we'll go through those. We're not going to go through all of them, but it'll give you a little taste of what's in that software. Okay, so if you see one of these uh, parameters a little different, you can also change those to, uh, you know, the Celsius. Obviously, we want to see Fahrenheit. You can change that by going through the configuration button. We'll just run through these real quick. All right, so we're going to go back to diagnosis menu. And we'll show you, run through the rest of the software, the actuate components here. You see your solenoid valve, control solenoid valve, and your priming fuel pump. Those are under the actuate components. Your system checks, your cylinder cutout, fuel system, cylinder performance, and then your operation operation data. We'll have a couple there. Your data rec record and your clear data record. Go up to diagnosis again. I want to show you the information on this throttle position sensor. You click on that, that's going to give you your components, and then you see your component there. You go over to the wiring diagram, click on that wiring diagram. That's going to tell you exactly where it is on the wiring diagram. It's going to have a little blued out space of where that is, and as you can see right here. Okay, so obviously if you wanted to float that cursor above one of the other components, it would tell you where what that is and give you that number. So if you want to see that component list, you hit that button there, and it's going to show you right here the full list of the components. You'll see also where that accelerated position sensors blued out. Okay, so to make that screen big again, just hit that button that we used before. We'll go back to here. Here's your fault code troubleshooting. This is going to give your components related to the error and the information on the wiring diagram. Information about that component. Okay, so jump here to the troubleshooting by symptoms. And here you see a step-by-step -step list on whatever system you're working on, whether it's that coolant fluid in the engine or fuel in the engine oil. You have your step-by-step -step symptoms there. Okay, and here's your system technical data. This is going to on right here, general information on your electrical wiring. Here's general information. Now you see on the left-hand side, some of those are faded out, I guess you'd say. They're not in there for this engine. Uh, they may be there for a different engine you're connecting to. Um, but a lot of times that's what the updates are taking care of. They're adding that information to the system. So if you don't see something there, chances are it's going to be in the next update or two. Okay, so here's system identification information again. And this is a 2012 Cummins 8.3 liter QSC. This is Tim with Marine Diagnostic Tools. Thanks for watching.